The suitcase murderer, Sarah Boone, is her name. She's the woman who uh, got drunk with her boyfriend and then put him in a suitcase and, well, passed out. That's her story. He dies, and now she's gone through eight attorneys, eight public defenders who all say there's nothing we can do to help this woman. She's just not cooperative at all. Joining me to discuss, Eric Battis, uh, defense attorney, former prosecutor. Let's just start on that note. Eight public defenders, and now the judge is saying, guess what? You get to defend yourself now because we, we're, we're running out. Uh, you know, Number one, can the judge do that? Um, and, and what the hell is going on here? Yeah, you know, anytime a potential client comes to me and they say, hey, you know, I had an attorney, but I, I dumped them and whatever, that's that's a red flag. Here we've got eight red flags of, yeah. of, 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 of law professionals that, that could just could not work with this person. And so, yes, once you get to that point, the judge can say, hey, we've given you enough chances. We've given you opportunity to have counsel, and, and you've essentially forfeited that right, and now you've got to go it alone. Everyone, of course, you know, is entitled to uh, to a defense, but if you're going to reject all of them, uh, I mean, th- does that create appellate issues, though, down the road um, of arguing I didn't get uh, adequate defense? You know, you have a right to counsel, but but as with any right, there are limitations with that. Mm-hmm. And so, um, you know, you get a free uh, attorney if you're indigent or in custody like Ms. Boone uh, with the public defender's office. And then it's sometimes hard to even get a second one. A lot of people go to the judge and complain, hey, I don't like my first public defender. And the judge usually says, hey, you're entitled to have counsel, but, but um, you know, you can't just choose whoever you want yeah. unless you hire a private professional. Mm-hmm. This is um, her letter um, that she's put out. It looks like a circus uh, poster from, like, 1898. Um, Inmate seeks attorney looking for a prosperous challenge. Ready for your close-up on national television. Are you zealous with a side of keen? Are you salivating here, Eric? Do you think this would be a great one? Uh, Show the world who you are with your original creativity, extraordinary expertise, confident ingenuity qualifications must include and it just goes on um (laughs) i've never seen anything like this i'm guessing you probably haven't either uh but she's uh, also written you know 50 some page letters to the judge um going off on how unhappy she is with uh with the defenders that she's been given let's take a look here at uh, actually one of those defenders uh that uh, went to the judge and said yeah this is not going to work But one thing I want to caution you about, if this becomes a problem on another court-appointed attorney, I'm going to look more closely at what the alleged disputes are. You have a right to a court-appointed lawyer. There are certain decisions a defendant gets to make in the defense of their case that are absolutely theirs, such as whether they go to trial or not such as whether they testify or not. But there are many decisions in a case that a lawyer gets to make. And while you certainly have a right to consult with your lawyer and discuss with your lawyer, they don't automatically just do whatever you say. They use their professional judgment and experience and look at the evidence, look at the law, and do the best they can. And this is uh, what happened right prior to that with the... Judge, the, le- the letters that have been coming to your honor, uh, the derogatory berating of my services in this case, uh, I can't effectively represent her. Uh, I, she doesn't trust me. She calls me a, a dud, I think, a buffoon, uh, on and on and on and on. And no one should have to endure that type of uh, derogatory comments and expect to effectively represent someone, especially in a murder case. So what do you do in that situation? I mean, what, what, what should she, I mean, obviously take a defender at some point, but um, it, it's so bizarre. I mean, is this the strategy that she's, she's doing? Is this basically, I'm just going to never get a defender and keep trying to run the clock out? You know, it could be, and and, and uh, uh, in custody defendants do that from time to time and try to play that card, and ultimately the judge uh, shuts them down in every case that I've seen. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so I'm surprised she's gone through eight so far. That that's remarkable. Uh, but but it's not going to be unlimited. And that judge, uh, you know, I got the impression that 
he's he's going to put a stop to this at some point soon. And it sounds like he has by forcing Sarah Boone to represent herself, at least at this stage. And this is ultimately what it's all about. This is the video uh, of uh, that she took herself. This is the damning piece of evidence, which is you know going to get her uh, in in jail or prison for the rest of her life or forever long it is. Uh, this is the suitcase. Let's take a look. For everything you've done to me. So. For everything you've done to me. So. Fuck you. So. <laughs> so. Fuck you. So. <laughs> Stupid. So. That's my name. Don't wear it up. So. I can't breathe, babe. Therapy. Yeah, that's when you do when you choke me. Therapy. Doesn't appear to understand the gravity of the situation by any means. No, it, it, it's really kind of chilling how blasé she is about uh, her partner uh, suffocating to death in front of her eyes and, and pleading for help. And, and she's laughing at times and and uh, really a bizarre presentation and demeanor. Yeah, it's uh, it's going to be fascinating to watch. What's your thought? Is she going to end up getting an attorney at some point? Is somebody going to jump on this, on the big letter going, this is my opportunity for the world? Or are we going to watch, uh, you know, a, a crazy case here where someone is trying to defend themselves that has obviously no clue what the hell they're doing? You know, her her solicitation letter there is is not overly enticing to, I think, any attorney I know. Um, but but I think she has to get a, an attorney. There's no she's got no chance by herself, especially with this damning evidence. Now, there are potential angles that an attorney might consider there that she might just not know about. Mm -hmm. And so she's shooting herself in the foot by by not uh, being copacetic, at least with, with with legal counsel. Maybe it's best for the world that she does what she does. So she doesn't get out and she doesn't find some angle where she can be free um her stupidity it might just uh you know save someone else's life from encountering hers at some point in time hey thanks for checking out the video be sure to follow us wherever you download podcasts and especially apple podcasts where you can get advanced episode and premium content on our premium channel right there also be sure to follow us on social media so you don't miss any breaking updates on the stories that matter to you most we're on tiktok x instagram facebook just search hidden killers podcast with tony brewski and you'll find us right there again thanks for watching